Ready. Hi guys, welcome back to Unchained Crochet. It's Jen and Trish. Is it <laughs> yeah, oh. it's recording. <laughs> um, we have had a morning out to a doctor trip for my back. Um, good news is, is he said he thinks it's just a muscle sprain from pulling myself up into the Lexus SUV I have now. So that happened in the morning and a couple hours later it's been flared up. Ever since then, nothing has helped. So he gave me some medicine and I still have imaging left to get for my knee and hips tomorrow. But um, definitely still keep me in your prayers and your thoughts. I appreciate it. Um, we ordered in the meantime, uh, waiting at the doctor and all that stuff, we ordered ahead for Michael's Yarn. Uh, right now, Karen Cakes is on sale. Buy one, get one half off. Can you pause it? No, but I can edit. Okay. All right, so we stopped at Michael's and uh, did a curbside pickup. I had ordered my yarn um, this morning, and then I treated Trish to some. Thank so you, she Jane. can... You're welcome, Trishy. <laughs> uh, so she, she drove me today, so I didn't have to get into the driver's side and use my right side of my back and arm. Uh, to get in so uh, her and her husband went with me to the doctor and then we stopped at Michael's so Michael's brought out our order um, and I didn't remember for sure which ones I ordered for me versus which ones I ordered for her although a couple of them I do know for sure anyway um, this is going to be a smaller version this is also a separate cal separate crochet along uh, if you would like to participate this is more for like a living room throw. Um, you can see it's the original size that's in the pattern of a spi the Spice of Life blanket, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. It'll be linked in the description. And I'm also going to link photos of the project of this lady that used six different Karen cakes to make hers. So you don't have to change your, your yarn as often. Um, this one is not going to be a challenge. I thought about making it a challenge and a cow. But the big king size one, Spice of Life, that I've been talking about all week now, um, it is a challenge and a crochet along. So if you want to be, be a challenger, say you're a challenger. But this one is called the Mission Impossible, uh, hashtag Mission Impossible Challenge. Um, and if you do a video um, or post pics to my Facebook group, Unchain Crochet, just put your hashtag, which it is, uh, it'd be hashtag MI for Mission Impossible, um, crochet along, or hashtag MI challenge. All right, so that is the hashtags. You can grab the hashtag, copy and paste from the description box as well. And the hashtags for the king size will be in this description box as well. All right, so it'll be delineated, which is which. But this here is for the throw size version. It's a separate crochet along, but not a challenge. So this is the, what we decided it was, the mini Mission Impossible? Mini Mission Impossible. Yeah, mini Mission Impossible. So it's it's quite possible that it's that it'll be doable for you if you don't want to take on a king size blanket right now. And especially if you don't have a lot of stash yarn or you don't want to do a bunch of tail weaving in, um, every row or two, then you won't have to do that if you mix and match some Karen cakes. So be brave, be bold, and just go for one of them. Um, I'm really glad about the turnout we've gotten and the interest, um, and I want to keep it going. You guys can let your friends know. Um, send them a link to the video, um, and I'm going to start a playlist that will have uh, the big one, the Mission Impossible, and then the mini Mission Impossible. So it'll be hashtag MMI for the throw size. You don't have to use Karen cakes. You can crochet along with your scraps if that's what you wanna do, but if you want an easy way out, uh, but have lots of color, you can use the Karen cakes. And right now um, at Michael's, the Karen cakes are buy one, get one half off. So for about $40 or so, you can get curbside pickup and just pay your tax not have shipping fees and they'll bring it out to your car and my order was ready rather quickly because i ordered really early in the morning and in fact it was ready before we got there and then we ordered hers while i was in my doctor visit she picked out some yarn she liked and we finished it up when i got done um and then i had to call them when we got there to let them know can you put a rush on the second order so we get out of here but they got it done pretty quick 
So we're going to go through the colors with you. Also, um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a photo to the video of the project that inspired me to mix these six different skeins together. They, I couldn't find the exact colorways that the lady used in hers, which I absolutely adore the colors. I love anything that's close to rainbow or soft rainbow, not quite a rainbow. And she just did the colors as they came. She didn't cut up separate colors or anything, although you could do that if you want to separate your colors and mix and match them and make it scrappy that way. But she just went from one skein to the other, a full skein. So um, we'll get started here. And here is two photos of that um, throw. Okay, now we're gonna show you the yarns that we got and we're gonna tell you the colorways. Um, I'm gonna try to stretch so you're kind of across the table from me <laughs> and it's quite a stretch for my back right now. So I'm gonna use my left arm and hopefully give you a good shot of it. This colorway, we're going to start with these two. We got two of these, so obviously we're, Trish and I are both going to get one because I don't want to use a duplicate. Um, and the Karen Cakes is a medium size weight. It's a four worsted weight and it recommends an H hook. So usually with something like Karen Cakes or regular worsted, I'll use in between an H all the way to a J. And that's what I would recommend, an H to a J, depending on your, your own personal tension. So this colorway is, and if you don't know already, sorry, I'll do the yardage. If you're not familiar with Karen Cakes, and you know what? I think this may be my first Karen Cakes project. My daughter's really big, big on them and she's used them a lot, but I think this is my first Karen Cakes because I usually do Sugar Wells from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are 383 yards. So six should be plenty to give you a good size afghan. All right, so this colorway is red velvet. One for you, one for me. <laughs> red velvet. It has some nice um, mottled look to it between the red and the darker gray. Um, it has light gray all the way to a couple medium grays, back to the red and like a cinnabar color. So there you go again, very pretty. Trish, you wanna show your blues? Sure. Those two. Here is blueberry cheesecake. One for you, one for me. <laughs> okay, turn. and then another double that we got. This one is brumbleberry. Now the brumbleberry, if I recognize the right skein in that blanket I just showed you, um, it, I don't know, it looked a bit different, maybe closer to this one. This one, they're wrapped a little bit different, you know, sometimes they go different order. But this is brumbleberry, it's got lavender, um, between the lavender all the way to a plum. There are one, two, three, four, five shades of lavender to plum in there. Love it. One for you, one for me. <laughs> BFFL. <laughs> Best friends for life. All right, you want to take a turn? Sure. We have blueberry shortcake. Love that. That has... Um, like a dark teal to a medium teal, then more greeny, sprucey teal, um, and a mintier teal at the lighter end, almost a purpley teal, like maybe just a hint of greenish to that medium plum teal like, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but there's like five shades to that, five or six shades of that one, it's a great one. Nice color range. This one's and vanilla values. bean. Vanilla bean, that is so pretty. Um, it reminds me of the tiramisu colorway of the um, the other cakes that they have. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> um, is it the Karen Big Cakes maybe? Yeah, that reminds me of the tiramisu. It's got a nice maize gold to it. And a chocolate brown, a beige, a ivory, a little bit almost bordering on a mustard if 
but not a strong yellowy mustard. It's more of a beigey, like a honey Dijon. So that is a nice colorway too. I really love these yarns. I like that one. This one, oh, this I think is one of Trisha's favorites. This one is Fairy Cake. And if you're familiar with the Mandala yarns, um, it would be comparable, taking out the gray, it would be, of the Mandala, it would be comparable to, I think, Serpent and Mandala. So it's got three shades, three or four shades of turquoise, and then it's got a white with little modeling tones of gray and ivory and, and uh, speckles of the turquoise very pretty it looks like it's going to have like a lot of speckles to it in that ivory section there what else you got let's do strawberry trifle strawberry trifle yum 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 i love this one my daughter beth used it in a blanket i think for uh, my granddaughter uh, she used it for a virus blanket um, and she just she rants and raves about the karen cakes Oh, and also, if you're interested in their anniversary cakes, the hu they're huge. They're huge. I've not seen them in person, but I've seen Crystal from Bag of Day with it. And she's holding it, and it's like it's like boulder size. <laughs> and I don't know how many yards they are, but they are on sale right now. From $34.99, they're on sale for $19.99. So grab it up while it lasts. Mm. And I wish I'd have bought one or two. <laughs> I may get back on and order it. We'll see. <laughs> You're a holic. Okay, what else you got? Rhubarb cream. Rhubarb cream. That's another pretty one. And you know, these two here, the corals in those are very similar. If you wanted to mix those, if you're a pinky type of person, pinky peachy, those would be really pretty together mixed into a blanket. That's all of yours. Let's do the rest of mine. I just got this one got left. Me. Yep, just one left to go. Uh, this one is pistachio, and it's a nice, not lime green, but it's a yellow green, almost yellow pea green color, and more to an olive, and then there's some ivory in there. Let's see if it's got some, usually on the ivory sections, it look, looks like there's some speckling in there on the ivories, but I don't see really any speckling. It might not be a slow, slow transition to that, it might be more abrupt. So, the, the one I see that has some speckling, um, not really that one either. I think the one that has the speckling is the fairy cake. And then this, this blue here, I think has a little bit of speckle to it. But it's probably very random. It doesn't look like it's anything they did purposefully. Um, I, just luck of the draw, maybe. So... This is the hashtag MMI, that's Mini Mission Impossible, CAL, C-A-L. No spaces, all caps. If you do a video and for your progress, uh, make sure you put the hashtag code, copy and paste it into your title, uh, or write it down if you can't remember it and don't copy and paste. Um, but we definitely want to see your progress, and I hope you all will join in. I'm very excited. It's so nice to be back on YouTube, and I, I did en enjoy my break from doing my videos, and I'm not missing making tutorials right now, um, but I do enjoy all the camaraderie and um, the crochet along. I think it's going to be just a blast, don't you? Yes. I'm excited. Trish, Trish has tried crocheting uh, several times, and she'll pick it up for a while and then give up. Um, but I am really going to push her and you will, you will complete this count because <laughs> yes, this I is will. our BFFL project. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.